Welcome back to another video, guys. This is going to be day two of uh, kind of reporting what I did today trading. So today was a little a little learning lesson, right? And I'm going to explain exactly what that learning lesson was. We're going to hop into my screen real quick. I'm going to show you guys exactly what I did. So um, here, obviously, the day was in TQQQ's favor. So there was an initial, an initial move, right, right off the open um, that I did take advantage of. I made some money on that. Um, and then I quickly, short after, um, found some opportunity in SQQQ. SQQQ, um, hopping on over there, we can see it began to trend up after that good push on TQQQ, which pushed it down. Um, SQQQ began to trend up, right? So hopped in there for a little play, but I did not make as much as I projected to make, obviously. Um, Going on further throughout the day, um, I decided to make some other plays um, in SQQQ, made a little bit of money, and then hopped back over to TQQQ, uh, made a little money, and then finally on SQQQ, um, the final trade of the day was a red trade, right? So I lost money on the final trade. And I just want to explain exactly how I got into that, into that position and then how like how I could better look at it and how other people could better look at that um, that same thing, right? So obviously for SQQQ, you can see the trend now that it trended down throughout the entire day. Um, but at the time, um, I had initially bought in around this area um, when SQQQ had broken above the EMA. So when it broke above the EMA line, started to show some signs of support i bought in there now i bought in very light and this is a good point to make um, for anybody who's a beginner um, <clears throat> do not and i repeat do not go in with a heavy position right off the bat uh, because if it does not end up going in your favor then you're going to have to cut losses um, and lose a lot more money than you want to lose in the first place so that's one thing that i like have been implementing more is not going in with very much money at all. Like literally going in with an amount of money that I do not even care about. And m the money that I'm going in with is going to be money that's not going to technically hurt the, the good trade that I just had. Like it's not going to completely wipe out the good trade that I just had. So as you can see, um, I went in around this area, right? Um, it then broke below the EMA. Um, and this is when like I saw kind of a red flag, right? Um, now I held on to it because I was so lightly invested that I didn't necessarily care that much um, which way that it decided to go. And even if it dropped like a multiple dollars, like I wouldn't be down very much. So I wasn't concerned about it. Um, <clears throat> so it began to retest this, right? And I saw some opportunity there um, for it to break above that EMA. It soon broke above the EMA and then quickly got rejected. Um, I held it a little bit longer, hoping that it would essentially break above the EMA one more time. It quickly sold off. Um, and at that point, I did have to cut my losses. So that was an example of holding a stock pretty much too too long um, in, in that, I guess, in that time period. Like I definitely should not have held it that long, hoping that it was going to continue up because I did see the potential for a reversal um, on SQQQ and to make some money there. But I don't think it was worth, um, I guess, losing some of my green trade that I did make. Now, with that being said, despite me taking forever to sell out of that position and not wanting to take that loss, I still managed to have a green day. Like I still made money today um, and I'm still in the green. And it's not by like a little bit. It's still by a majority amount. Right. So that trade this trade that I did bad on didn't particularly cripple my green day and I still did a pretty good job with it. So that's just a, I guess a recommendation, a learning point um, for any beginner traders, definitely go in with a small amount of money because if you're going to go in with, the, first of all, going with a small amount of money when direction is not exactly clear, right? I definitely bought in early um, despite the break above the EMA line. I bought in early, not knowing which way that it could go after that. But obviously, hopefully it was in the favor of SQQQ, but in the event that it wasn't and it wasn't, then I was able to cut my losses and I didn't lose very much money in that process. So that is a key lesson um, I guess I would recommend for pretty much anyone. 
anyone who's like a beginner, even if you're like an advanced trader, um, go in with a light position size until the direction is completely clear and then add to your position later on down the road. So yeah, with that being said, thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you guys learned something from this um, and can take away from this, implement it into your own trading. And I'll see you guys in the next video.